There's Jethro here. I know you can see that. That happens to be probably, no, it's a couple, three hundred yards behind the house. So I can get it dialed in a little bit better. That one's a small one. I had to go inside and get the camera. Oh, I don't, I can't really see any horns on it. There was a great big massive body one that was in the middle of the field a little bit earlier. I can't see it right now. Have to do a little bit of moving around. See if I can't find out where he went. But they just got done cutting the beans here a couple weeks ago. And this is going to be a regular deal for the next, I mean, well, all winter long. Uh, early mornings, late evenings, they funnel between a couple tree lines out here. And I'll have anywhere from 5 to 25, 30 deer back there. Kansas is actually allowing us one buck tag this year. And then after that buck tag, uh, they're allowing us uh, five doe after that. So uh, between me and my wife and son, I'm still planning on putting at least 10 to 12 of them in the freezer. And I, I don't know, I might go... As, I might go more. I took the whole deer season, rifle season off of Kansas, so see if I can't get some shots of these others. Yeah, go walk in the tree line. There's another set. There's three of them right there. A little bit fuzzy. I want to see that giant body that was walking across there a few minutes ago. Which don't get me wrong, I mean, I won't pass up a good sized buck if it's gonna be a nice wall hanger or something, but for the most part, folks, I'm a, I'm a meat eater. My family, myself, uh, we shoot mostly does. Right now, the population on deer is so thick, uh, when you're going to have to start worrying about the disease in them. And so we do harvest mostly does. So it's just kind of right up our alley. I'm going to keep a watch out. If I see the buck, I'll try to get a shot of him. But you throw out. Bada bing, bada boom. He has like three does to the right of him. He's got one doe to the left. I'm sure he'll move in a minute. There's another doe or something coming in from behind him. Another buck. There we go. Where'd you go, buddy? The young one got his head down. Not a very big rack, but he's gone jacking with the does. Where my other one go? He's way down that tree line. I guarantee you, it's, he's he's far, quite a bit further back in the field. That's there a bit of three, four hundred yards. I think that's a big body I see in. He's just not as big a rack as that other one. Bill Gaddy, my friend, if I go back to work in time, uh, this is gonna be a shout out to you. This outdoors, this wildlife, it's about as wild as I like to get. I like to be at home and I get to see this from my back porch or my backyard.
see he's a nice I bet he's at least eight. And I can see six points sticking up nice and as he walks into this. No oh, right on the side of that little sucker. Oh well guys, just should have my butt up earlier. When they came out, they came out of this tree line right here behind that bell of hay. That, that is right at about 250 yards. And they go across that big open field. He's still chasing around. He knows I'm up here. Or something ain't right. He keeps on looking this way. That's about as close as I can get him in without. Well, that's as far as the camera will zoom in. He's singing that song. Ooh, gonna get me some. Gonna get me some. Gonna get me some. Hey. These are coming back over into the tree line. Hi, baby. She's looking right at me. I think he's pretty much got her convinced. She's gonna stay around. And just like a typical male, as soon as he gets what he wants, he's gonna go find these other does. Hey! Oops, he heard me. Oh, hey, looky here, looky here. He saw these other girls coming in the south side of the field. Oh, yeah. I think I love you, so what are you so afraid of? Oh, get your butt back in focus. There we go. Trying to keep about the right height. He is looking nice there. Bat! Bat! Oh well. I think I'm gonna go to the woods. Catch y'all later, Jethro out.